The Big Data Expo continues in southwestern Chinese city of Guiyang, featuring some of the most cutting-edge technology from both home and abroad. Our reporter Tao Yuan reports from the eye-opening tour. A treasure trove of machines and gadgets. In a crowded corner, we're greeted by this guy, a cartoon-looking for commercial use robot. This robot can be employed as a tour guide in museums or galleries, a sales assistant in shopping malls, or a receptionist or waiter in hotels and restaurants. If you're thinking about the clumsy cyborgs that didn't quite live up to the hype, don't, because this one is wired with speech recognition, natural language processing, sound localization, speaker recognition, facial recognition, face tracking, 3D mapping, obstacle avoidance functions, and so on. So say if you frequent a restaurant, it'll remember exactly what your favorite dishes are. Next up, a driving simulator. I'm wearing a T-shirt mounted with sensors, so when I board the car, it's going to take my biophysical measurements, like my heart rate and level of drowsiness, to give me better driving advice. Let's take a ride. The machine also records my driving habits. In about a minute, I've had two sharp breaks and two sharp turns. Oh. Which I guess makes me a pretty bad driver. Road and vehicle conditions are also documented. Through monitoring each piece of equipment, we can conduct preemptive checks and maintenance. We can also constantly better our product through analyzing our customers' behavioral habits. Bidding farewell to a wild driving experience, it's time for a selfie. Facial recognition technology now means you can pay with your face. First, register your face on your digital wallet. Then, at the checkout counter, flash a smile, and you're done. No more fumbling with your wallets. As big data and neural network algorithms become increasingly mature, facial recognition can now reach an accuracy about 99.6 percent. Last September, we introduced facial login on the AliPay app. The security and the convenience have both been perfected. So, if you're concerned about the robots coming, then I'm sorry to say, they're already here. Tao Yuan, CCTV, Guiyang, Guizhou Province.